You do not often find a steel icebreaker built in the 1960s coming onto the market. This is Daphne, an expedition vessel and icebreaker that was originally built for the Danish government as a survey vessel for fishery inspections. This 30 meter expedition vessel will be going up for auction on the 9th of November and the starting bid will be 50,000 euros. But more about that a bit later. In my humble opinion, vessels like Daphne are more than just machinery spaces and steel plates. They are a part of maritime history that deserve to be given a new lease of life. For a new owner with the right vision and the right team behind them, Daphne can continue to roam in hospitable places in all weather conditions, revealing parts of the world that only a few get to see. Before we carry on, this is just a quick request to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how quickly we can get to 50k subscribers. Daphne was built in 1960 by Svenball. As mentioned before, she has a steel hull which is between 18 to 8.5 millimeters thick. She has a displacement of 146 tons and her beam is 6.35 meters. She pulls a draft of 3.2 meters. Daphne is powered by a single 420 horsepower Burmeister and Wayne Alpha 406 VO engine. This is the same engine that has powered this expedition vessel for the last 62 years and is itself a part of naval engineering history. And what a testament to Burmeister and Wayne. I bet when the marine engineers installed this engine over six decades ago, they would have never have thought that this workhorse would still be operating all this time later. You can just imagine the sort of sea states the engine has propelled Daphne through during her 8,000 hours of operation. In 2014, the engine was overhauled by highly skilled marine engineers. With her current propulsion, Daphne has a top speed of 11 knots and a cruising speed of nine knots. At her cruising speed, she consumes 50 liters of fuel per hour and has a range of 5,000 nautical miles. If, like me, you are a fan of the traditional North Sea and Bering Sea style trawler yachts and fishing boats, then you will probably also appreciate Daphne's whale bag. Here you will find access to the vessel's forward bollards, which I'm sure Daphne's crew have appreciated over the years as they came alongside in various harbours in the high latitudes. Hearing hands to harbour stations over the ship's tannoy when it's freezing outside with horizontal rain in the upper deck must sound slightly better when you know that you'll be protected from the elements. There's also a workshop in here, something that is vital for any vessel that is going to be spending weeks or even months, thousands of nautical miles away from the nearest shore-based workshop. Before we look inside the rustic wheelhouse of Daphne, let us take a look around the accommodation areas. Of course, suppose this steel expedition vessel and icebreaker is acquired by an enthusiast who wants to convert Daphne into a luxury exploring. In that case, 
This is perhaps the last time we will be able to glimpse into the past regarding what accommodation must have been like on a vessel built in the 60s. So, as your eyes gaze over the accommodation areas, soak up the maritime history before you. In total, there are six cabins with a total of 17 berths, set out in an authentic research vessel configuration. Of course, with the right visionary, these accommodation areas would be completely transformed, assuming that a new owner wanted to convert this vessel into a luxury long-range explorer. I never cease to be amazed by what can be achieved by the various shipyards around the world that specialize in converting vessels like Daphne into luxury expedition yards. And that's one of the reasons why I will be keeping a close eye on what's happened to this little ship once she has been acquired by a new owner. And now let us take a look inside the wheelhouse. Being built only 15 years after the end of World War II, when you walk around the wheelhouse of Daphne, then were it not for the wood panelling, you would be forgiven for thinking that you had stepped aboard a World War II corvette or frigate. My regular viewers will know that I am a huge fan of modern technology. So I love the wheelhouses of modern 21st century explorers and expedition yachts. But having said that, I can still appreciate the rich maritime heritage of this vessel and pick out the elements and design features of this wheelhouse that are still used by some naval architects when plans for new explorer yachts are being drawn up. I'm sure that for many of you, this will probably be the first time you have seen a traditional wheelhouse from the 1960s. So I'd be interested to know what you think of this wheelhouse. Let me know in the comments below. As you see her now, the wheelhouse is kitted out with an Arcus magnetic compass, a Rakal Decker and Raymering radar, as well as the usual GPS, plotters and depth sounders. She even has an Imarsat transmitter receiver with an old school fax machine. And just look at how tough the windows are on this wheelhouse. You can just imagine gazing out of here as huge waves come crashing over the bow. If you are interested in finding out more about Daphne, then I will leave a link to her upcoming auction in the video description. Let us hope that she perhaps starts a new chapter of cruising the world's oceans as a luxury, newly converted, long range, ice breaking exploring yacht. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. I'd also like to say a big thanks to my friends over at the Volk Yacht Brokers for allowing me to use their video and images to put this video together. If you're on Instagram, be sure to come over and give me a follow. You can find me by searching for Yacht Boy, B-U-O-Y on Instagram. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider sending me a super thanks. Anything received via a super thanks will go towards buying better kit and equipment. Please also consider becoming a member of my channel by clicking on the join button underneath the video or by clicking on the link that I put in the video description. YouTube's channel membership is basically their version of Patreon 
and you'll get access to exclusive content. A big thanks to these fantastic people who have already chosen to become members of my channel. Before you go, please don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. The video in front of you on the top left hand corner is one of my videos that YouTube thinks you will love. I've also got lots of other playlists that you can check out. So when you get a moment, please feel free to give them a go. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.